Edwards chips the ball into the Hibs area. Free kick will go Hibs way. Ryan Porteous just nudged off the ball as he was looking to make a clearing header. Milan Kennett to Ryan Porteous. He'll be inside the county half. Clips it forward again for Campbell. Boyle now for Hibs on this near touch line. Ah, it's more a... It's more a 4-4-1-1 four, four, one, one that Hibs are playing today mm. with two wide players. As, as a manager, that's what you're looking for, to try and create 1v1s, and they're, they're good at that. Can call up. Comes Edwards. Callaghan loses out to Ryan Porteous. And then Kenner rolls it back to David Marshall in the edge of the Hibs penalty area. We could maybe catch them for a, a quick kick out, you know. Mm -hmm. He's just not allowed them to do it. It's County looking to push forward on this near side again. Robin White is in there, but he snudges Ryan Portis in the back as Portis gets in front of him. Portis has it. It's a lovely dummy by Josh Campbell. Martin Boyle whaps it across goal. No one there to get on the end of it. It was a lovely dummy on the edge of the area that let Boyle in. Showed them where they wanted them to go. I think it was a difficulty getting it under control in yeah, the first place. Yeah. Portis plays that one towards the edge of the area. Back to David Marshall. And we're in the final minute, the first 45 here. And it's, it's fair to say, Mickey, that County really haven't posed Hibs too much of a threat. No, they've no, no, they've no. As I say, it's, they're at home, remember, they've got to come out and. But they've not really. Hibs certainly with a lion's share of possession yeah. and, and shots at goal, but similarly, not really posing. Ross Laidlaw too much of a threat. Just charging forward again. Oof. Crashes into Yakaviti there. Porteous Boyle cuts it back. Josh Campbell, chance here for Hibbs. It's goal words all. How did that one stay out? Midway inside the county half. Jeremiah finds Kukarevich and gets it back. Hanlon. It's behind Ryan Porteous. He has to go all the way back to David Marshall. Takes up good position to get it back from the keeper. Drops the shoulder. Leaves Edwards for dead once again. Port is hearing forward. Gets it back into the area. Chance here for Kukarevich. Blocked again by a county defender. Portis has it. Feeds it from Josh Campbell. Moves it then into the path of Ryan Portis. Hibbs playing keep ball over on that far side. Joe Newell. McCurdy gets bundled into the back of. That's a free kick as clear as day, but not given. <laughs> Hibs still have possession, Porteous, lovely ball flicked out to Hanlon has it now for Hibs, midway inside his own half. Ryan Porteous is in acres of space over on the far side. And uh, as has been his want today, he'll charge forward into the county half. So far, Harry McCurdy. I don't think Lee Johnson will see any real need to change anything else. No, I think he'll be trying to continue, you know, I think he understands it, you know. Forward, Making too yeah. many changes, especially when doing well, is, is not the way forward. Cadden for McCurdy inside the area. McCurdy holds it up nicely. Cadden plays the ball in. Chance here. It's Martin Boyle. Hibbs have a second. <laughs> but Hibbs keeping the pressure on, defending high up the field. And Ross County have to play the ball back to Ross Laidlaw. Nanda runs into trouble in the shape of Boyle. Laidlaw clears. It's not the best clearance ever from the county keeper. We look like a team, if we went in front, we'd try and hang in there and just see the game out, whereas there's more more imagination about the side. 